Yo, hello guys. Uh, here we have an, an SSD. It's uh, it's liquid damaged anyway. Let me show it to you under the microscope. There we are. Yar, 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 yar. Hope you can see. So guys, in this matter, uh, how do we deal with such with such a mess? Okay, because now we can't even check for short. Why? It's because this um, this memories they have a low resistance to drown. So obvious. When I check here uh, for short, uh, when it's compared to ground, obvious. Uh, the multimeter will beep there yeah, I know for sure we can give it a try but I know we're gonna have a low resistance when it's compared to to drown okay uh, one drop to drown and the other one see the value is very 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 low why it's because those memories they have a very uh, a low resistance to ground you know the pga chips they have a low resistance to what to ground so sometimes you would think they are shorted you need to find that they are not they are not shorted okay so guys let's go ahead what i'm gonna do here it's very 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 easy I'll take this guy here. No, 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 not this one. Let's take this one. Anyway, what happened here? The laptop itself was liquid damaged, but I I, I managed to repair the laptop and the SSD. Now uh, I didn't do anything on the SSD. That's why cleaning what? Cleaning the SSD. Okay guys so now let's do this let's put a little bit of of uv on top top of this component and then we'll take it from there see 